Well, guys, summer has uh, pretty much drawn to a close. It's uh, Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow, I go back to school. And that kind of sucks, but at the same time, I get to see all my friends and whatnot since we haven't really hung out over summer break. And uh, as an added bonus, it is my senior year of high school, so it is my last year, and I'm pretty happy about that. Now then, the only downside to all of what I just said is, um, let's see, AP Macroeconomics, AP Government, AP European History, uh, there are more. What else? Oh my god, how do I not remember these? They're like, direly important. AP Environmental Science. What else? Two, three, four. There should have been one. Oh, AP Psychology. In short, about five to six of my classes are AP classes. And in the normal schedule, we get seven classes. But I'm taking two currently right now online with Florida Virtual School. So I have nine classes. Uh, so a lot of my time is now being devoted into that. Now then, here's the better side to that. I do go to the library every day after school now for three to four hours worth of my time, which means while I'm there, I can either work on, luckily, Lego things, because we get our laptops once more, or I could work on schoolwork, and then when I get home, work on Legos here. So that is the good news. Now then, if you've been keeping up with my channel for the last day, you've probably noticed that I've been on an ATRT bent. Now then, there is a reason for that. Actually, two reasons for that. Number one is that I've been on a Clone Wars bend as well. Um, I basically just finished watching the six seasons of Star Wars The Clone Wars again, and... Uh, that the, the last few episodes were in that season that was never aired on TV was like if you're a true Star Wars fan you just you you just everything that you've ever known is just suddenly shattered and, and you're just like oh fuck and uh, yeah that that's kind of where I am right now uh, but if you know the Umbara arc that's basically what got me to rewatch it because I wanted to remember that arc and like the feelings that I had the first time that I watched that all those years ago but in that arc are 501st ATRTs in fact they're the same ATRTs that I based uh, my designs off of from Lego for my Kashyyyk ones uh, but that's what I wanted to see because I heard David from Solid Brick Studios say that they actually fitted inside gunships I didn't know that I had actually overlooked that detail when I originally watched through that arc, uh, but he's right. In like the first episode, as these gunships come down, the back door opens where the normal speeder bike would be, and the ATRT pilot, the ARF trooper, backs it up to like the very edge, jumps out, and then when he hits the ground, he starts running and then slowly uh, slows down. And uh, that's something that I actually did really overlook when I first watched the mock. Or, or not the mock, the arc. Um, so that was something that I had to go back and rewatch. And when I rewatched it, I was like, well, I might as well rewatch everything else. So I basically did. And uh, that's what got me into the ATRT mood. Now, then the other thing that got me into the ATRT mood was watching again David from Solid Brick Studios um, for his Kashyyyk mock. His Kashyyyk mock is huge and uh, I, I love it so far it's one of those things that I really wish I could do and um, unfortunately just financial wise I, I can't it's like almost impossible uh, maybe one day over the years as we collect more and more bricks and by we I mean me and my friend um, because we are currently building a Star Wars base uh, clone base but it's going to be more like an outpost size based it's not going to be kind of one of those things where it's huge like David's base is like David's base is pretty much bigger than my entire bed and my bed is a full twin size mattress um, it's even taller than my bed and my bed is a Tempur-Pedic uh, 
memory foam. So it's a good foot and a half tall worth of bed, and it, it's it's a big mock basically. Uh, but he got me inspired to do a Kashyyyk variant of an ATRT because you see ATRTs on Kashyyyk in episode three, but it's dark and there's a not a not a lot going on. Uh, you also see them in the initial battle scene, but they're kind of like they're far off, not really that close, and yeah. Uh, but I did get inspired to do those, and uh, if you can see down here, I don't know how much of the screen you can actually see. Uh, there's two. There's my version 2 uploaded first, and then my version 1 uploaded a little bit later. Now then, the reason for that is that the version 1 um, had bad bad lighting in the actual video part, so I had to take pictures of it. So I took those pictures and I put them in the front, which means I had to edit the video, and I usually never edit my videos, I just upload them. Um, so this one came off of my phone, and I could upload it directly because I had good lighting. This one did not, so I had to do pictures, and then put them with the video, and then upload it after editing and uh, that took some time so I had to do that and uh, that's why version 2 came before version 1 but without further ado we're gonna get into version 3 which looks a lot more like an actual Kashyyyk ATRT so here it is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out of the way the uh, trooper up here since there's really no detailing or anything on them because Lego uh, for some reason just kind of refuses to put any of the proper printing torsos in here and it's getting really annoying Lego for the love of God please put the right torsos in here I really don't know what's going on but this is supposed to be one of those new Kashyyyk troopers that came out in the Kashyyyk uh, troopers battle pack um, but uh, yeah so what basically makes this model different from the other two variants is that this is colored the way I really envisioned it. This has m basically a sand green color also involved in it and that sand green color makes it feel more like a Kashyyyk variant of an ATRT. My other models, the one that is actually right here, this is my um, personal one. This is version 2. Version 1 is at my friend's house, the one that I'm basically working with to build the clone base. Those two only have brown, tan, sand yellow, and then dark t or dark gray and light gray. And that's obviously an issue because there's no green involved in either of them. So it, it's not like a Kashyyyk model. It's more so along the lines of kind of like a deserty model. And that's like the major issue that I have with it. So I built another one in LED. This is the sixth ATRT that I built. I actually built this one basically without using any instructions. I had already memorized how to build it. So I did it without instructions and this is what happened and it looks fantastic. Um, there are a few modifications made to make it a better LEGO set and then at the end I'm going to show you a battle pack that I think LEGO might produce if I submit it on LEGO Kuso. But basically, we have an ATRT with sand yellow brown, sand gr or yeah, sand green and tan pieces. And the few modifications that I did make were obviously the feet here. The feet are kind of based on the same design actually, but I switched up the pieces used to make it look more like an ATST. If you remember, some of the older ATSTs had the same exact kind of the uh, main toes coming out here, and then I have two side toes here for more stabilization and then the four kind of the back heels that you see coming down here are so that if you were to take the main body and tilt it up like this it could rest on these back heels and not fall backwards kind of awkwardly um, but yeah that's basically what I have going on here I have some uh, s cylinder details going on there just to kind of break up the squareness of what's going on and then it kind of curves up and then back down uh, in the toes. I really do like these toes added on. These toes make it look sweet. Of course we have full uh, moving feet so you can move them you know all the way around make it look like they're running almost and what's really nice I'll leave the feet up like this is that there are studs available on bottom so if you guys are doing any stop motion or anything like that, you can connect it to a base plate 
so that it's supported on one leg and then you can pose the other one like it's running or walking or anything of that matter. So you don't have to worry about kind of awkwardly putting Play-Doh on the bottom of it to keep it where you want it while you pose it around uh, so it just doesn't fall over. I did make some changes on the legs as well. I put more detail into the legs so that I could add some more colors down here. Uh, instead of it being a small circle, which would be the brown one, I did a extra large circle for the joint. Uh, it looks better in my opinion. I actually love it way more. Uh, like I said, I put some extra detail in here uh, so I could get the colors in there and it looks great with the colors. I love the colors involved. Um, and then up here I got the normal joint piece here and then the normal kind of the vent pieces that they use but it's also changed because of this plate here and I've discussed this plate before in the other two videos but basically uh, when you put this piece on you have an extra stud worth of space here and um, I wanted to put something there to camouflage it and I thought in the other two models sand yellow pieces would be great but the only sand yellow pieces I had were these wing pieces, these angled pieces. And they actually worked out very well. So I'm really happy uh, with how this looks. And it kind of covers up this joint here. So it'd be almost like uh, extra armor, if you will, extra protection. The other thing is this piece here. It's on both sides. And what it is supposed to be. Uh, if you've watched my version 2, you'll see a Republic Armada stick here. And that's basically the red... Uh, half circle, red half circle, and it's cut down the middle. That's what that piece is supposed to represent. Uh, of course, Lego has neglected the fact to include that piece in this, even though Star Wars is a big thing that people make on LVD, but cutting Lego some slack, they, you know, I guess don't have the time. But they really need to put that piece in there. I mean, I'm getting really annoyed with not having the proper printed pieces. I really am. Of course, the uh, brown and tan brown and tan. I also wanted to add some black in here. Um, just kind of, the black just works for some reason. It just really does. Uh, so you, as you can see in the uh, appendages coming down here, it's there. The blaster antenna and then kind of like the main um, area here for the handlebars is also black. And it just works. It really does. I'm glad that I chose it. Uh, moving on, I did make a modification to the kind of the imposable gun. It does move, by the way, so you can move it side to side uh, if you're playing with it like so. And uh, the modification that I made is pretty obvious. You have these outlets here on the uh, gun, and they have two translucent yellow pieces up here, and they represent lights. If you've ever noticed that in Episode 3 of Star Wars, um, when you see AT-RTs on Kashyyyk searching Kashyyyk... Um, or uh, Wookiee wreckages and whatnot looking for survivors uh, to kill anything that might still be left there. They have lights on the front of them. Uh, I don't exactly remember what lights are and I can't necessarily find the scene on YouTube for some reason. I really can't. I just can't find the scene. Um, but I just went ahead and put lights on either side to be more accurate but at the same time less accurate because they might not be in the actual spot that they need to be. Um, but yeah. Moving on into like the main chassis, uh, there's no real modifications made to the main chassis other than what's going on back here, but we'll discuss that when we get there. Of course, we got the kind of like the front armor protection par or parts. Wow, my voice cracked there. So sorry about that, guys. Um, but sand green, brown, sand or sand yellow, sand green, brown, dark tanned, sand yellow again, and it's working out very, very well. I love the looks. And then the other modification that I made is that on the uh, back pieces that goes here to keep this wing where it needs to be, I put a vent piece on it. Um, in an older ATRT model that I did of the 501st one, actually, there was no Kashyyyk variant. I put another clip piece here, and I put um, a lightsaber or micro binoculars there um, because they looked good. Uh, speaking of which, I do have micro binoculars. I need to put them on my ATRT. Um, but yeah, the other modification made up here is that there is an actual seat for the pilot. Uh, the main reason there is a seat is so that he can see over the front angle piece here. 
If you notice on the other actual LEGO ATRTs, since there is no seat, the pilot sits one stud down, and sitting one stud down puts him like, the top of his visor is over, but the bottom half is not, so he's just kind of able to look over, but not really, so <laughs> I fixed that with the seat, which is a simple fix, but it naturally works as well. Um, the other thing is that the handlebars are there. We have the original pieces back here. And then it switches all up in the back here. The antenna is a full-sized antenna. I kind of like the kind of like long, long look of it uh, compared to the other one. And then it's uh, smooth on back, and it's all gray. I, I think... I don't know why it's all gray, actually. I'm pretty sure I made it camouflaged on the other one. Um, but I modded it so it could hold a medium-sized clone blaster. Because the issue that I had while making the original three 501st ATRTs that me and my friend bought for the base was that when I finished building them, I basically, I was like, where do we put the weapons if they're driving? And my friend was like, I have no idea. And I was like, well, that sucks. Um, Lego did provide this one little stud right there that you could stick the weapon down into but it, it's kind of hard when your clone is sitting in the seat and you got this in the back and the antennas and whatnot to reach down there and grab the weapon and sometimes when you would reach down there you'd knock off the antennas and then you'd have to fix it so putting it on the outside on the side gives you greater ease of access and it just kind of looks better it looks like it's supposed to be there i should say it's not just a post of black sticking up from behind the driver uh, but yeah so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it so like I said at the end of the video I was going to show you guys a new battle pack that I really think uh, should be made into Legos I discussed this in the last video that Lego would profit if they made a, kind of like a Kashyyyk battle pack where it was an, a Kashyyyk styled ATRT like I have um, Kashyyyk clones down here, and then uh, I have kind of like a Kashyyyk wall here, and the kind of like the unique features that it bends, but at the same time there's two bends on either side right here. Um, that's kind of battlefield, stars, battlefront, I see, I say that all the time, fucking battlefield. I don't know why, but it's uh, kind of battlefront ins inspired, you have like a medic droid on one side, and then on the other side you have that, um, gonk droid for ammo and whatnot, but I just did bins instead of a medic or a gonk droid. Uh, bins were better, and you could put holocrons or something inside of them. LEGO usually includes holocrons somewhere in their sets now for some reason. It also included a dwarf droid. I call it a spider droid, um, but some people call it a dwarf droid for some reason. Two droid staps, kind of like the older staps, not the newer ones. I like the older ones. They look pretty sweet. And then three uh, normal battle droids, kind of to match. Um, you see five droids, five clones, and then a spider droid and two staps. I think that's a good match. Um, I was going to build, originally I was going to do kind of like a corporate alliance tank, and then four battle droids, but I looked at the corporate alliance tank's instructions, and I was like, eh, I'm kind of lazy, I don't, don't really feel like doing all of that tank track and technic there because yeah it's just not gonna be the same so I kinda decided not to do the corporate alliance tank droid but I would say maybe if we took out that and these two things and then took this droid and put it off to the side and put a corporate alliance tank right here it also be kinda like a, a really awesome battle pack just to be honest um, but yeah, so I mean, I think this is a really good idea for LEGO to go ahead and put forth because they do have the Kashyyyk Troopers. It's pretty easy to make a Kashyyyk variant of an ATR team. Uh, this wall isn't that hard to build at all. It just uses kind of like specialty pieces. Uh, and by specialty pieces, I just mean these pieces. Um, shouldn't be that hard. Uh, kind of curved, obviously, but the Spider Droid old design, stab droids, old design, or staps, old designs, battle droids, I mean, can't get more complicated than that. Kashyyyk Troopers are already printed, already made, there's an entire battle pack devoted to them. So why don't we do something a little bit bigger with the Kashyyyk Troopers and do something like this. 
so you could build up your army of Kashyyyk troopers, but at the same time get some really cool Kashyyyk kind of like mocks going on almost. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you guys have any questions about the mocks, don't be afraid to ask. I respond as quickly as possible, and now it might even get quicker considering I get a new laptop this year. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh man, I'm kind of like, I'm really excited about getting a new laptop because that means I can sit in bed and I have a bad back, even for being just 17. I really do have a bad back, and it's kind of uh, bad to admit, but I just can't get comfortable in these chairs anymore, and I kind of do get um, discouraged from doing anything on uh, the internet because of this, but since I do get a laptop this year, more videos will start to roll out. Also, if you're watching the future Yeti, or uh, Brandon Allen, as I know him, your SL8 or 9, SL videos, your, da, 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 where is it, SL8, uh, is in the making, but I haven't started yet, just know I will make it soon, uh, I've obviously been busy doing Kashyyyk things and then getting ready for school, and this past week has been really crazy, uh, like, let's see, what have I done? I went to school orientation Thursday. Friday, I went to my friend's uh, CCI dog graduation. He uh, raises um, service dogs, uh, and this was his last dog, and she just graduated into basically college in the CCI world, and um, I went to her graduation basically and um, just, you know, kind of helped the family through basically watching something they cared about walk away because they take the dog from you but um i went to that and then after that we did some recording for our gaming channel i built the kashik atrt saturday since i didn't get home friday night until three in the morning after doing the recording and then legos and whatnot i like i slept in guys i was done <laughs> so i slept in like pretty much all of saturday and did like after absolutely nothing like I woke up um, at freaking four like dinner was being made by the time I woke up and I was like oh and then yeah I just like went back to bed I was I was done Saturday and then this morning when I woke up I did more Florida virtual school stuff to get caught up and then after that I did some I don't know what I did I did something but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you guys have any time, don't be afraid to check out my website. It'd be sweet if you did. It helped me out greatly. It's not that hard. BlueJayTheMeister.Weebly.com. There will be a link in the description always, as always, I should say. Should bring you to a page that looks like this. If it does not, then you're on the wrong page. And yeah, you should probably move. But this is an awesome page. I have to thank my friend because he did an update where if you look up here at the top, there's guns, explosives, knives, accessories, block. Uh, so what's really nice is that you can go under guns, all the assault rifles, submachines, and everything is right here. And they're in these little pop-out menus, so it makes it much, much easier to navigate my website. And I have to thank my friend for that. He did really, really good with that, and I'm really happy. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.